Coming up on Look Today. Well, the Saratoga Horse Show comes to a close with a record-breaking number of entries. I've got details. And U.S. House of Representatives passes Elise Stefanik's Support Our Military Caregivers Act. More on that coming up. And the High Collection in Glens Falls installs outdoor interactive color panels. I've got details on that. It's all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone, I'm Jay Hood Jackson and this is Look Today. In tonight's program, I sit down with Bridget Connolly. She's the event committee chair for the Warrensburg Chamber of Commerce. She's here to talk about their upcoming golf tournament, which is happening on June 5th. I also sit down with historians Hollis Palmer and Sandra Graff, and they're here to talk about an upcoming historical tour of Saratoga and his new book, which is called Saratoga 1858. Plus, we've got your weather for the Tri-North Counties. But first, We've got these headline stories. Well, in our lead story, in the final week of the Saratoga Horse Show, the event showcased around 400 horses. The show was held at the Otto Grounds on the north side of Union Avenue. Well, we spoke to Peggy Lynch. She's a sponsor and media coordinator for the Saratoga Springs Horse Show. Capital Fund of Saratoga has taken it over. In the last four years, they've raised approximately $200,000, which we donate to charities in the Saratoga County area. Now, Cass Z, ridden by Andre Alvarez, took the Sullivan Cup, winning $4,500. Now, the winner was determined by best time while committing the fewest faults on the track. And this year's horse show saw a record number of entries in its second week with 500 horses. Now, proceeds from the horse show went to various charities, one of them being one of our favorites, the Franklin Community Center. We spoke to Jamie Williams, who's the director of the organization. Here, um, we try to send all of our staff. This is our third team that we've sent over to volunteer at the horse show. It's it's important. It's important for us to give back, and it's important for us to support the horse show. They do a lot for our community. It's not just about the people riding around on the horses. It's not about um, the awards and everything. There's a lot more that goes to it. The money raised supports local pantries in our area. Go, Jamie. Uh, in other news, here's a story we've been following for a while. The House of Representatives passed the Support Our Military Caregivers Act. Now, this legislation was authored by our own Congresswoman, Elise Stefanik, and will better help support family members caring for seriously wounded veterans. Elise Stefanik spoke on the floor. I was proud to introduce this legislation last November. Military caregivers are loved ones who selflessly care for our nation's heroes behind the scenes to enhance their everyday lives. Thankfully, the Family Caregiver Program, implemented in 2011, was designed to ensure caregivers were not forgotten. My bill would guarantee that those who dedicate their lives as caregivers receive the support they so desperately need and they so desperately deserve. Congratulations, Congressman. All right, switching from news to weather. Well, today saw mostly overcast skies. A little sunshine throughout the day, but not much. Let's see how the rest of the week is shaping up for a more detailed look at our weather. We're going to head to the Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. Back to news. Well, check this story out. An outdoor installation consisting of six eight-foot acrylic colored panels will be featured at the Hyde Collection in Glens Falls starting this Saturday. Now, it's called Camp Iris. The outdoor exhibition will be an interactive one. The public will be encouraged to enter, pass through the panels, or actually recline in the installation. Well, we were at the Hyde Collection, and we spoke to the artist of the installation, Victoria Palermo. So we used all native cedar for this structure. Um, it was milled in Saranac Lake, and we, I combined it with a material that's not often used with wood, and that's plexiglass, colored plexiglass. So I'm combining two materials that normally don't go together, the rough and the smooth. You've got to see this exhibit. It's awesome. All right, and visitors will be able to look through the transparent colors and experience their environment through changing shapes as the colors mix and remix, overlapping one another. Told you so. 
All right, we also spoke with Jonathan Canning. He's a museum creator at the Hyde Collection. And it's site-specific. It was designed for the front lawn here at the Hyde Collection so that the three pitched forms of uh, her structures reflect the three houses of the Prime Sisters. Yo, another news. Back again. I want to go back to those color panels. Stewart Shops is recalling all bags of its Sunshine Cranberry Delight. The product includes sunflower kernels that are part of a national FDA recall due to the threat of contamination. Now, the recall involves all code dates, and con customers should return the product to their nearest stewards for a full refund. Now, thankfully, no illnesses have been reported to date. Up next, I sit down with Bridget Connolly. She's the event committee chair for the Warrensburg Chamber of Commerce. She's here to talk about their upcoming golf tournament, which is happening June 5th at Cronin's. Plus, I also sit down with historians Hollis Palmer and Sandra Graff. They're here to talk about an upcoming historical tour of Saratoga and his new book, Saratoga 1858. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea, how about join us for an interview? Give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000. Well, that's all the time we have for this edition of Look Today. Well, I got a couple of lookouts tonight. And the first one goes to Carmela and Latizia. These fine ladies run the Lake George Olive Oil Company and also Mezzaluna. By the way, great place. Uh, I got to confess, I'm half Italian. And not all olive oil is created equally. You've got to go to one of the two locations. One's in Lake George and one is right on Glen Street in Glens Falls. The Lake George Olive Oil Company. Say hi to Carmela while you're there. And the second lookout goes to one of our very own, Mr. Ed Kelly. Ed Kelly is responsible for, <laughs> I think I saw balloons there, but that might have been that transparent um, installation at the Hyde Collection. The, uh, Ed Kelly is the person who's responsible for shooting most of our video in the field. And uh, his birthday is today. We're trying to figure out how old Ed is. He could be anything from 20, there they go again, the balloons. He could be anywhere from 28 to 150, and we're not exactly sure, but he gets up in the middle of the night and goes shoots the video, so he probably looks like he's 150 and is probably around 60 years old. But we love Ed. Happy birthday, Ed Kelly. All right, tonight on Look TV, it's a Queensbury Town Board meeting. And don't forget, tune in tomorrow night for the stories that matter to you. Good night, everyone.